Alright Warriors, good morning. Welcome back. Before we get started, let's do this breathing exercise. It's going to take five seconds to get back in our lane. Kind of, just to take a badass walk on the beach, man. To uh, kind of provide ourselves some loop interrupters, a couple of aha moments to, you know, for some of us, it was just that one damn puzzle piece that was missing. And once you get that, the rest of it just starts falling in place. Instead of now, this awareness taking your breath away, now it starts making sense. And you start to realize that this mental disorder, had you believe in that dumbing down, mistook for love, would change, would change a narcissist. Ain't that some shit? Like you had that kind of power. <laughs> Ooh, no. Uh, yes, sir. And that was a grand manipulation. Narcissists are great at making you believe that they're a worthy investment in the wreckage of a project. Warrior, let's take five seconds. Let's breathe in deep and release. And it takes about five seconds to do it slow. And what I want you to concentrate on is as you're breathing in deep to that threshold where your lung capacity is reached its max, and then immediately reverse in that same flow, releasing your breath. I want you to focus on that. And don't allow your mind to fuck us you over from the very medicine that you seek. This is a first step in understanding how you can reprogram your mind. You can unlearn in order to relearn. What you're doing is creating space. Let's do this. Come on. Release slowly. <laughs> Ooh, dog. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You know, the majority of narcissists, now that we're going through hard times, been going through hard times, uh, they're promising themselves that they're going to behave more better, bestest, more longeristest the next time. The, the next time, because uh, they have to accept that that what they hate, which is the love bomb. See, that's a job. It's a duty to have to please your booty and play pretend. So they got to recalibrate the love bomb. They got to find a way to hide the resentment that resides in them. Oh, not just for you. No, 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 no. Everybody. See, because in the narcissist world, everyone is against them. Lawyers, in the narcissist world, they started out with nothing and still have most of it. And some of you, actually the mass majority of you, have an operating knowledge. You have a great advantage because you grew up in the way. You grew up understanding narcissism. You grew up in the insane asylum. And when you were born and raised in it, you have a deeper understanding of the setups, how they're thought out, and it's why, just through body language, you're able to be 10 steps ahead. You can, you can also know before a narcissist has been triggered that they're fixing to be triggered just by the way a conversation is playing out. 
And look, narcissists got you believing that you were here and put on this earth to suffer. Uh, the way they explanations it is they'll let you know that the Lord put you in their path to fix them and that without you they wouldn't know what to do because you're always there for them no matter how many times they prove to you to be insufferable uh, yeah and see now what's got the narcissist twisted is they're realizing that you were just putting on you were studying them they were a case study because you couldn't believe how fucked up and twisted they got you and now it was time for you to understand clearly what you're dealing with so you started to observe and realizing that the same bullshit they were selling to the harem closet they thought they led you down that same path uh yeah you ain't drinking the kool-aid no sir uh you spit that shit right out it's like they put that pill in your mouth and you tuck it to one corner when they turn around you spit that shit out you see now you're watching your food and your drinks now you're paying attention differently now need i remind you of something you're out if you're fixing to be out you know if you're watching these videos it was on a hunch and now you got the validation that you've been seeking without having to go through the go-throughs and some of you avoiding the bullet altogether but look at here need i remind you of this or i will remind you of this there was a time that you said if i ever get out of this shit i'll never ever do this shit again i will never ignore a red flag you see elohim heard that oh no 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 because of its sincerity because it was spoken through the most deepest of emotion it lit up and energized the air because you were having a conversation with the divine your exit was granted provided what you gonna do when the hoover comes when the narcissist comes groveling begging looking like a wore out swamp rat that's been passed around not only broken but broke are you gonna pass your test or not Now it's a decision with knowledge. There's no excuses. And need I remind you of that voice, that covenant, that silent covenant made, a mumbled. yet confident request. If I ever get out of this shit, I won't ever, ever do this again. That covenant to self was a divine covenant. Your true self your authentic self has always been in tune with the Creator. Otherwise, 
as I always ask an atheist, whatever gave you the notion that there was a God not to believe in or a creator to not believe in? The creation story may be different the more you dig deep. But I'll tell you this much, a narcissist's main objective is to keep you in confusion, to keep you in chaos, to keep you in disagreements, argumentative, so that you stop digging for the truth. Boy, your narcissist had you fucked up. Thought you were like everybody else in the harem. Suffering some arrested development, are they? <laughs> yeah, they need to go back to the drawing board and recalculations their love bomb. You need to allow them to fake it with each other for a very long time till they run out of time. And when that does happen, don't be available or near them for a hoover. Because understand, that kind of desperation is dangerous. The last damn thing you need is to run in to a narcissist crossing that threshold of psychopathy. The dark triad. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a club. Blood in, blood out. Discover some big mistakes, man. Big mistakes. Things we don't need to ignore, things we need to pay attention to, and then things we need to shed ourselves. Because look, when you are raised in the way you're in the know. But you also know this too of yourself. Positively beyond a shadow of a factly. You had to use certain narcissistic tactics against narcissists in your life. Sociopaths and psychopaths. In order to have survived as long as you have. What needs to be shed is that you only execute that style of fight with a narcissist, sociopath, and psychopath that deserve it. That club is called the triad, the dark triad. Yeah, they're a club. You're also a part of a certain group. Kind of like a ghost warrior, a witcher, or a watcher. Only executing consequence on the fools that ask for it. Damn near big. And that's why you operate in the shadows. You don't need validation from anyone. What narcissists mistook about you is they thought. That was their first fucking mistake. Second mistake was thinking that you needed company so bad that you'd be easily entertained with bad company. Warriors, pay attention. As a narcissist begins to age out, you'll start to notice that they're willing to pay. For the company of misfits to not be alone. And you'll see the rage in them when they have to part ways with their possessions and give them as gifts to buy attention. It's a pitiful sight. One to behold. A life you're missing out on. Now get on with your bad self. Now, let's not get it twisted. Let's not ignore these big mistakes. All right? Has no standards anymore. <laughs> Holy shit. This thing just hit hitting home runs right out the gate today. Let me tell you something.
Their sink is constantly full of dirty dishes. <laughs> oh, hold on. This card's upside down. I don't read them upside down. Because I can't. <laughs> Wishes more people were fluent in silence. Callate! <laughs> Callate la boca! All the things they really like to do are either immoral, illegal, or unhealthy. Is that not a song? If it's not, it's finna be. Read your text messages when you aren't around. Shit, I like to play a game. Freaks people out. You read my text, I read your texts. Out loud. To the chothers. <laughs> we'll see who's on the up and up. Likes their money where they can see it. Hanging in their closet. Mm -mm. Just looking for someone to love and cherish you. But won't share their body. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that booty ain't to please you no more. It's got a duty to please a community. Wants to control everything about you. Even insisting that you make major changes to your wardrobe. Love bomb major. Plasters your plasters your Facebook page with compliments, flattery, songs, and poems. I, I've actually had narcissists that try and send you songs and tell you this is how they feel about you. And, and I want you to understand the, the trick is this. They don't know how to express themselves because they have no heart. So they're great at drawing pictures and plagiarizing music and memorizing movie lines in order to build up a paper mache character of a self. Man, that's some scary shit. Or their favorite pet is a rock. The man! You seen how I eased right into that one? That was pretty cool, huh? Understands her dog so much it almost like they speak dog. Ro ro, ro ro, talking about. Ro ro. <laughs> yeah, I speak dog all right. Walk yourself out. Don't forget your own leash. Hey, Warriors, thanks for your support. Y'all are badass. Numero uno. I'm proud of every damn one of y'all for holding the line. I know. It's hard at first. Baby steps moving forward, though. You're going to trip up once in a while. Look at me. It's going to happen. And look. Air now and again. Whatever you dished out, they had coming. Fuck a narcissist. But from here on out, let's exercise our absence and our silence and not waste any more time or energy on the reprobate narcissist. Someone who was never a pimple on your ass. And get out there and own it. No, no. Own it. It's never goodbye. It's always until next time. Namaste. Um.